we're still doing very well, but now we're getting back on track. Okay, never mind it isn't a flu. And, and I just want to point that out because his use of that word just doesn't seem to be accidental. It seems purposeful, used to minimize the virus's impact. Never mind, there is no sane person who would say that going back to phase one shutdown in one of the biggest cities in this country is not back on track. Look, the facts tonight show this. The coronavirus pandemic has killed nearly 134,000 Americans. Deaths are now starting to tick back up again after trending down a little bit for months, right, even as younger people were infected. But we're now starting to see that rate go back up. Listen to how Dr. Anthony Fauci describes the situation right now. My own country, the United States, as I'm sure we'll be able to discuss a little bit more, is in the middle right now, even as we speak, in a very serious problem. A very serious problem, and we're in the middle of it. The president's version, we're back on track, and we've done very well. Well, look, the president doesn't want to hear the facts on this. Actually, according to Fauci, the last time Trump met with Fauci was June 2nd. That's more than a month ago. And the last time that Fauci briefed Trump here personally on the facts, two months ago. So just think about that. Let me just show you what happened since the last time the president of the United States actually had that personal briefing from the person who knows the most and is in charge of the, 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 the infectious disease here. Look at these two maps. When Trump was briefed by Fauci the last time, 22 states, that's May 13th, we're seeing a decrease in the number of cases. Look at that map, 22. The number now, four. The last time Trump got briefed by Fauci, the number of cases in the United States was 1.3 million. It is nearly 2 million more than that today. The last time that President Trump was briefed by Dr. Fauci, the death toll in the United States of America was 79,000. It is now on the verge of 134,000 dead people. But now, instead of fighting the virus, President Trump is fighting Fauci, the leading infectious disease expert in the country, a man who has been in this role since the 1980s and worked for six presidents of both parties. Dr. Fauci is a nice man, but he's made a lot of mistakes. Trump attacking Fauci because Fauci says we are in the middle of a really big problem, something the president just can't admit. In an interview with the Financial Times, Fauci saying, quote, I have a reputation, as you probably have figured out, of speaking the truth at all times and not sugarcoating things. And that may be one of the reasons why I haven't been on television very much lately. He speaks the truth and Trump doesn't want to hear it. So Trump doesn't want Fauci on TV doing interviews because that's the media that Trump consumes.